Hello everyone, on behalf of Jordan University Faculty of Medicine, Department of Microbiology Lab, allow me to extend a warm welcome to you all. This is Hanan Amin and I am delighted to talk to you about the most common microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi that may affect the respiratory system. Hello everyone, our lab today will be about the common gram-positive bacteria that may cause throat infection and go in details how to differentiate between the species. A throat swab culture or throat culture is a test commonly used to diagnose bacterial infections in the throat. The most common gram-positive cocci bacteria are Staphylococcus species and Streptococcus species beside other bacteria. Staphylococcus species are gram-positive coccus and arrange in a grapes-like cluster, while Streptococcus species are gram-positive cocci arrange in chain or diplococcus, as it show below. Staphylococcus includes at least 40 species. The most common species that associated with clinical infection are Staphylococcus aureus, Staph epidermidis, Staph hemolyticus, Staph hominins, and Staphylococcus albus. Staphylococcus aureus appears yellow-golden or yellow colonies often with hemolysis when grown on blood agar plates. The golden appearance is the etymological root of the bacterium's name aureus mean golden in Latin, while other staphylococcus species such as albus or epidermidis appears white colonies on blood agar. The major test reaction that should be used to differentiate between Staphylococcus and Streptococcus is catalyst test, while the major test reaction that should be used to differentiate between Staphylococcus aureus and other Staphylococcus species such as Albus and others, we have to use mannitol salt agar and coagulase test. Catalyst test. Catalyst test is used to identify organisms that produce the enzyme catalase. This enzyme detoxifies hydrogen peroxide by breaking it down into water and oxygen gas. The bubbles resulting from production of oxygen gas clearly indicate a catalase positive result. Staphylococcus give catalase positive result while streptococcus give catalase negative result. Manitol salt agar is a selective and differential medium. The high concentration of salt, 7.5%, selects four members of the genus Staphylococcus, since they can tolerate high saline levels. Organisms from other genera may grow, but they typically grow very weakly. Manitol salt agar also contains the sugar manitol and the pH indicator phenol red. If an organism can ferment mannitol, an acidic byproduct is formed that will cause the phenol red in the agar to turn yellow. Staphylococcus aureus will ferment mannitol, so will turn the media color to yellow, while other Staphylococcus species such as Staphylococcus albus and Staphylococcus epidermidis will not ferment mannitol and the media will remain red in color. Coagulase test is used to differentiate Staphylococcus aureus positive from coagulase negative Staphylococcus species. Coagulase is an enzyme produced by Staphylococcus aureus that converts soluble fibrinogen in plasma to insoluble fibrin. A suspension of the organism is suspended and incubated with the plasma at 37 Celsius in a tube. Clot formation within 4 hours indicates a positive test positive test indicates Staphylococcus aureus. Leave negative tubes at room, room temperature overnight and re-examine. This step is essential for some strain of Staphylococcus aureus, including many MRSA, produce a delayed clot which is rapidly lysed at 37 Celsius by the organism Staphyloco Staphylokinase. Streptococcus are gram Positive aerobic organisms that cause many disorders, including pharyngitis, pneumonia, wound and skin infections, sepsis, and endocarditis. Three different types of streptococcus are initially differentiated by their appearance when they are grown on sheep blood agar. The first group is beta hemolytic streptococcus, produce zones of a clear hemolysis around each colony, such as group A streptococcus biogen and group B streptococcus 
Caucus agalactia. The other type is alpha hemolytic streptococcus, such as streptococcus pneumonia and streptococcus viridans. They are surrounded by green discoloration resulting from incomplete hemolysis. The last group is gamma hemolytic streptococcus are non-hemolytic, such as enterococcus species as enterococcus fecalis. Both this slide and the next one represent types of hemolysis on sheep blood agar. Streptococcus verdans can be differentiated from streptococcus pneumonia using an optician test. Streptococcus verdans are optician resistant while strep pneumonia are optician sensitive. Strep pneumonia having the polysaccharide based capsule and the Lansfeld antigens of the biogenic members of the genus. The upper photo reveals strep pneumonia since the growth of bacteria that are optician sensitive will show a zone of inhibition around an optician desk, while the growth of bacteria that are resistant to optician will not be affected as it show on the bottom photo which represents strep verdans. This slide represents streptococcus pneumonia cells under light microscope. It's a gram-positive, lancet-shaped coccus, elongated coccus with a slightly pointed outer curvature. Usually they are seen as pairs of coccus or diplococcus, but they may also occur in single and in short chains. This slide represents streptococcus verdans under light microscope and it shows gram-positive coccus and usually forms short to long chains and are often elongated. The Bacitracin susceptibility test is used to distinguish group A streptococcus, stepped biogen, from other streptococcus such as a group B streptococcus agalactia. When grown on blood agar, group A streptococcus are sensitive to Bacitracin that will show a zone of inhibition around Bacitracin desk, while strept agalactia, the growth of bacteria that are resistant to Bacitracin, will not be affected and will not show a zone of inhibition growth. The right blood media represents strep biogen since it's sensitive to pacitracin, while the blood agar on left represents strep agalactia, which is resistant to pacitracin desk. Gamma hemolysis is indicative of no hemolysis or lack of hemolysis around the bacterial colony. An example of non-hemolytic streptococcus are enterococcus group D, such as streptococcus fecalis, and non-enterococcus or other than enterococcus group D. Bile esculent test is used to differentiate between enterococcus group D and other non-enterococcus species. Enterococcus group D give positive bile esculent test. What is bile esculent test? Bile esculent test is based on the hydrolysis of esculin into glucose and esculetin by a microorganism that produce an enzyme esculinase. Esculetin reacts with an iron salt, ferric citrate, in the medium to form a phenolic iron complex which produces a dark brown or black color. Diphtheroids are defined as aerobic, non-sporulating, pleomorphic gram-positive bacilli, which are more uniformly stained than Corynobacterium diphtheria. It lack metachromatic granules and are arranged as Chinese letter. They are usually common cells of the skin and mucous membranes. Candidiasis is a fungal infection caused by a yeast, a type of fungus called candida. Some species of candida can cause infection in people. The most common is candida albicans. Candida normally lives on the skin and inside the body, in places such as the mouth, throat, gut, and vagina, without causing any problems. In some circumstances, such as taking a long course of antibiotics or having weakened immune system, it can increase your risk of developing a candida infection. At least 30 candida species have been recognized as causes of a human infection. And the most common species are Candida albicans, Candida tropicalis, Candida glabrata, and Candida cruzei. Candida are members of higher group of microorganisms called fungi. 
They are single cell organisms of spherical, elliptical, or cylindrical shape, and their size varies greatly but are generally larger than bacterial cells. Candida typically grow asexually by budding. Saberoid agar or saberoid dextrose agar is a type of agar growth medium containing peptones. It used to cultivate dermatophytes and other types of fungi such as candida species at 20 Celsius and can also grow filamentous bacteria such as nocardia. The pH of the media is adjusted to approximately 5.6 in order to enhance the growth of fungi, especially dermatophytes, and to slightly inhibit bacterial growth in clinical specimens. Yeast will grow as creamy to white colonies, while molds will grow as filamentous colonies of various colors. Germy tube test is a screening test which is used to differentiate candida albicans from other yeast. When candida is grown in a human or sheep serum at 37 Celsius for 3 hours, they form a germ tubes which can be detected with a wet KOH films as filamentous outgrowth extending from yeast cells. It is positive for candida albicans. Chrome agar is a novel differential culture medium that is claimed to facilitate the isolation and identification of some clinically important yeast species. As it shown in the figure, Candida albicans isolates gave green colonies, while Candida glabrata isolate gave glistering violet or dark pink colonies. The two figures in this slide reveal the Candida tropicalis and Candida cruzi on chrome agar. Candida tropicalis isolate develop dark blue-gray colonies, while Candida cruzi isolate formed highly characteristic rough spreading colonies with pale pink centers and white edges. Aspergillus niger or Aspergillus niger is a fungus and one of the most common species of the genus Aspergillus. It causes a disease called black mold on certain fruits and vegetables, such as grapes, apricots, onions, and peanuts, and is a common contaminant of food. Aspergillus niger is one of the most common causes of automycosis, fungal ear infection, which can cause pain or temporary hearing loss, and only in severe cases it may cause damage to the ear canal and tympanic membrane. Penicillium is a genus of Ascomistias fungi that is of a major importance in the natural environment, in food spoilage, and in food and drug production. Some members of the genus produce penicillin, a molecule that is used as antibiotic which kills or stops the growth of certain kinds of bacteria. Penicillium species are occasional causes of infection in humans and the resulting disease is known generally as penicilliosis. Penicillium has been isolated from patients with keratitis, endophthalmitis, automycosis, necrotizing esophagitis, pneumonia, endocarditis, peritonitis, and urinary tract infections. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a species of pathogenic bacteria in the family Mycobacteriaceae and the causative agent of tuberculosis. It has an unusual waxy coating on its cell surface primarily due to the presence of mycolic acid. This coating makes the cell impervious to the gram staining, and as a result, mycobacterium tuberculosis can appear either gram negative or gram positive. So, acid fast stain, such as Zeal Nelson, are used instead to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis with a microscope. Lomonstein Jensen medium, more commonly known as LJ medium, is a growth medium specially used for culture of mycobacterium species and specially uh, for mycobacterium tuberculosis. When grown on LJ medium, mycobacterium tuberculosis appears as brown granular colonies, sometimes called buff, rough, and tough.
The medium must be incubated for a significant length of time, usually four weeks, due to the slow doubling time of mycobacterium tuberculosis compared with the other bacteria. The medium appears green, opaque, and opalescent, and the main composition of LJ medium are malachite green, glycerol, which enhance the growth of mycobacterium tuberculosis, asparagine, potato starch, coagulated eggs, mineral salt solution, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, and magnesium sulfate. Cultures are usually made in glass bottles rather than in petri dishes because of the long incubation time required. Using this type of bottles limits both chances of contamination and drying of the culture media if the caps are tightly closed. Zeal Nelson method of acid fast staining technique is used to stain mycobacterium species, including mycobacterium tuberculosis. And the three main components of the stain are first, carbofluxin, which is considered as a primary stain. The second one is 3% hydrochloric acid alcohol, which works as a decolorizer. Then the third one is methanol blue, which is considered as a counter stain. When the smear is stained with carbofluxin, it solubilizes the lipoidal material present in the my mycobacterial cell wall by the application of heat. Carbofluxin further penetrates through lipoidal wall and enters into cytoplasm. Then, after all, cell appears red. Then the smear is decolorized with decolorizing agent, which is 3% HCl. But the acid fast cells are resistant due to the presence of large amount of lipoidal material in their cell wall, which prevent the penetration of decolorizing solution. The non-acid fast organism lack this lipoidal material in their cell wall, due to which they are easily decolorized, leaving the cell colorless. Then the smear is stained with counter stain, which is methylene blue. Only decolorized cells absorb the counter stain and take its color and appears blue, while acid fast cells retain the red color. This slide reveals the acid fast stain. The mycobacterium tuberculosis appear in red to pink color, while other cells and the background appear in blue.